Well, it was just like many of the greater uh, <coughs> reviewers of Shogakuin no Soma predicted. It's uh, uh, who were the, but I wonder who were those who predicted this to be true? Was it also did Charles Enemy World also predict this? Either way, it's yet many predicted, and it's not surprising that that man has gone to the dark side. But what is surprising is why did he go to the dark side? There's still some unanswered questions there that we will linger, linger on for that. Because again, what again? I will repeat what I just said. We all suspected that that man uh, uh, will go to the dark side, because people can argue that Kurokiba is a jerk and a guy of the dark side. After all, he doesn't believe a single bit in the power of emotions and. Uh, feelings in cooking but at the same time for some strange reason he is very loyal to Alice and has shown some amount of uh, kindness to her which is given how his character works is actually kind of surprising sometimes and he does rebel against uh, against Azami but that may just be because Alice does and he doesn't want to follow one streak of cooking he wants to follow his own so it's not surprising that this man, Hayama, has gone to the dark side because he is nothing much short of a jerk and an insufferable genius. But again, he loved June. June was everything to him. So why has, is he talking about this so coldly? Something, is, something seems to be hiding behind the scenes. In the Shogi no Soma chapter 179, of course, Soma and Takumi are extremely excited for the fact that they're gonna face off against the Elite Ten, while Irina is worried because is this she now realizes that uh, all of them, uh, that not all of them, but the fact that is Ice, not Aizen, uh, Azami wants to get rid of the rebels for real this time. Again, why is he so desperate on getting rid of them this badly? I mean, it's not really that difficult to knowing why, but the fact that he's so desperate of is even the men wanted to, to get the best of the best of them away just maybe hint that there may be some hope for the people. We'll see, won't we? Of course, Megumi did not sleep so much because she was worried while, uh, well, while Soma was excited and so was Takumi. So uh, this confirms the fact that um, the Elite 10 is the best of the best. And uh, the, pe the true people that uh, is th uh, the true rulers of Totsuki. But again, people are we are arguing with each other over and over the different Shogi Kinosomas reviewers asking us this. Will the rebels really survive the Elite Ten? If all of them do that, I will be extremely happy. Not only because I don't want the spare to win, but also because uh, Again, I have said this a lot of times that other people do not listen to. The Elite Ten, they are powerful, but they must be defeated! Because they're evil. And they must be defeated one day in order to show us out with the old, in with the new, and everything they've done is wrong. That is the theme of the Shogi Kinosoma, so they must lose one day. Will it be now, though? That's the biggest question. So Irina tries to have faith in them all. And it turns out that it's not Rindo that's gonna face off against Soma. I wonder who she is facing off. Again, Rindo, what are your motives? It almost sounds like you wanted Hayama to be... Soma's uh, enemy just because of some other reason. Her smile almost seems to hint that. Because yes, all of this has confirmed that Hayama has been joined the Elite Ten and he is now currently the ninth seat of the Elite Ten. And they're not gonna cheat anymore. Instead they're gonna do a full, full, uh, full, full cooking and all of the great, the furthest of the best skills. 
So Hayama shows himself, and well, he has quite had quite the makeover. He no longer has a ponytail. His eyes look way much bleaker than they be be did before, and he wears a jacket. So, yeah, even Soma is actually surprised that Hayama went over to the dark side. And Hayama is now saying, uh, and uh, that doesn't make really Soma happy, because everything, given how he always was hanging on with the sh with the Shumenor, and it's now and uh, and apparently it is dead. And uh, Hayama seems to now following Central's rules, although his eyes seems to hint something else. So, again. Are you telling me Hayama had an had a had a, had a shoki with the seminar online and lost, and then instead, uh, I Azami offered him the one of the seats in the elite ten. I mean, Hayama was a was a peasant. The people Azami hated the most. It's true that he had a very talented gift, but he's still a peasant, according to Azami. So I'm surprised he even let Hayama join the elite ten. But he is only after talent, nothing more. So, yeah. And it seems that the Hayama's ego has taken a run, has taken an extremely high doubt, saying that he no longer says Hayama is on the same league as him. And that, uh, that you shouldn't, uh, and he thinks <coughs> Soma's guts to aim to the academy was a lie. And Hayama himself says, now I'll climb to the top. So he will kick uh, Soma down and um, climb even higher. And so that's the team. Hayama versus Soma. So finally, finally it's gonna happen. Hayama is gonna lose. Finally! Why am I saying that? Well, I'm saying that because, come on, he has to lose. He defeated, well, not really defeated, but he almost defeated Soma twice. Their cooking showdown uh, in the election didn't really count, but Hayama still got higher points than Soma. And he did win the election at all, the whole election. I did not like the fact that Hayama won. I mean, I was this close in actually stopping to read the manga when that happened. Because I really hated Hayama and everything he stood for. And now Hayama has even thrown away his only redeeming quality. He has thrown away Jin. Or is this just some jerk-ass facade saying like he's trying to protect Jun somewhere else? Well, who knows? But now, 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 there is no doubt Hayama is gonna lose. And that's gonna be so satisfying. Because if he wins, not only will Soma be uh, expelled, but also what's gonna happen then? Hayama cannot win. He cannot be allowed to win. So this is basically this chapter. And now that the fact that Hayama has gone to the dark side, which again, that was not surprising. Yes, the, the surprising is how he acted about that. What I'm really, really worried about is who are the final replacements? You know, I got a very, very scary thought. You recall Hoyo, I mean, Mi Miyako and Subaru. I mean, we saw them when they were cooking. And there were no a single hint of them being in the Elite Ten. But when I saw Hayama here, I almost began to wonder. Wait, wait are you telling me the rival to Megumi? Well, not really rival, but almost. Uh, Miyuku and the rival to Takumi Subaru is also in Central as the Elite Ten. Given to one that uh, scene we saw of them, it seems that no, that's not the case. But who are the final two? No freaking idea. This is basically the chapter. And also, I have also another complaint. Again, we have to see Soma cooking. Th this duel better not be longer than two or three chapters. Because 
If we're gonna watch both Takumi and Megumi cooking, I know this is a cooking manga, but it's still gonna be a little bit tedious. I only want this arc to end, because I want them to win. But we're not going to see everyone cook, are we? Because even if we only see, if we only see Soma cooking, that's gonna be pretty sad. But I do not think all of them will survive. But if they do survive against the Elite Ten, that's good. Because that means the current Elite Ten is just as flawed as I always thought they were. The, but can they defeat the second and the third? That's the real question. Give me your thoughts if you have any.